I had the idea for the project on a cold winter's day last year when I quite fancied doing some underwater work in a nice warm pool as opposed to a freezing cold sea. And I decided that it would be quite fun to get people that had something to do with the sea doing their day job effectively underwater. I'm Kate Westaway, I'm an underwater photographer. My name's Dan Snow, I'm a TV presenter and broadcaster. Such a fantastic and unusual opportunity to get asked to sort of pose for a picture, but underwater is so fun. They sent me some of the other pictures that people have taken. It's just, it's a, it's a great opportunity. It's a beautiful day as it turns out. We're having a great time out here, but also it's a fantastic cause. I think the most exciting thing about the project is that the exhibition is going to be underwater, and that is a world first. I've got lots of exciting props and taking into consideration his naval background, make him look the intrepid adventurer that he is. Well, I grew up sailing. I've been sailing since I can remember. Uh, we used to spend our weekends, when I was a little toddler, uh, sailing out in the sun, all weather, right through the winter. My dad used to tie me into the corner of the cockpit, and I thought that was normal. And uh, in retrospect, it was quite a brutal upbringing. I feel very strongly about the work that the Shipwreck Mariners Society do. I think it's great. I've got a couple of uncles who are fishermen, and I know what a tough industry it is to work in. And Shipwrecked support seafarers all over the country, and I'm very happy to associate myself with them. The Shipwreck Mariner Society is an absolutely fantastic organisation uh, and it looks after the seafarers who have given so much to this country, so much of our wealth, so much of our freedom and prosperity is based on the work that they do in mind-blowingly difficult situations. The fishermen, the merchant sailors who go out there day after day uh, in, in some of the worst weather the world has to throw at them and it's absolutely right that in their old age when they get a bit more infirm perhaps or if they fall hard times that we're there to look after them.